Hello and welcome to the IR edition of Mike Fixed It. Good morning and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to play with some thermal imaging to answer the question, how long does it take for my car to warm up? We will be using our Seek Thermal thermal imaging camera. It will generate an image called a thermogram and we will be able to videotape the car going from cold to warm. We have the camera attached to the iPhone and it is pointing at this angle. So hopefully we will pick up the exhaust. We can see the exhaust tips, the back muffler, and the pipe going to the back muffler. So we are going to record this and we will time code this in real time. Because I'm sure none of you want to watch this in its extended form, I don't really want to compress time because I want to give you an actual idea of how long it takes for the car to warm up. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a little bit of fun with thermal imaging and I'm going to show you some other examples of how things look in thermal video. So let's get this party started. All right, we are recording. Now, just so you know, it is a chilly, blustery day here in eastern Pennsylvania. It is about 43 degrees outside. Now, granted, my car was in a garage, so it's probably about 55 degrees in the garage. Now, I left the doors open eh, probably for 10 or 15 minutes so far, just to let some of that cold get in here. And right now the temperature is measuring less than 140 degrees. When you're looking at the video, you will see an indication of the lowest temperature and the highest temperature that the camera is picking up. Need more coffee. Okay, the one on the right is Zoe, and she has less fur. The one on the left is Coda, she has more fur. And you could see that Coda is transferring much less heat than Zoe is. Let's turn on the oven. Filling a cup of water. Now watch as the plastic gets cold. Let's see if an LED clock gives off heat. Well, that's pretty impressive. Here's all the places that the heat is leaking out of my front door. Or maybe I should say, here's all the places that the cold is coming in my front door. Now it just occurred to me from looking at the thermal imaging that I'm in good neighbor mode and it's not putting the exhaust out through both of the tips. So I'm going to go in there and open up the active exhaust. Let's 
Let's see if that made a difference. Well, that's my totally inconclusive conclusion on how long you should let your car warm up. I personally have heard that you don't need to let a modern car warm up, um, but letting it warm up some, hey, if you notice a difference, if you find that your car is performing better letting it warm up, all the better. If you drive a car that's too cold, I have broken cars by driving them when they're too cold. So, um, you know, but that was older cars in the meantime, I think letting it warm up a little bit is good. Um, do you need to let it warm up for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes? I'll let you guys decide. So for now, thanks for watching this short video. If you like the video, please subscribe. My name's Mike, the channel is Mike Fixed It. Be good, be well, be safe, and let that car warm up as long as you wanna let it warm up. I'll talk to you soon, bye-bye. Fixed it.